Now, what I would like to do for you is to talk about the containment system and angles. So what you want to think about here is, you know, think about there if there was an oil spill in the harbor, um, you know, basically they would try to contain it and put a fence around it. Now, um, the fence would be a little bit more angular than the organic oil. So that's how you want to think about when you're working on your figure drawing to sometimes use this containment system. And again, now let's put this into perspective. You would do this very light where I can barely see it on your page and maybe you would do it very quickly. Um, angles would be the next step. Um, angles would be the um, micro and containment system would be the macro. All right, so containment system is very similar to the three shapes, it's just not organic. Um, and some people call this the envelope system. Some people really despise this and some people really like it. Um, I find that the people who don't like it never can really draw the figure in proportion. Okay, um, you know, some people don't want to be able to draw the figure in proportion. That's not their thing, and I get that. But if, you're, if you choose to do the figure in proportion, you must master this technique. There's no way around it. So first, let's do a very primitive containment system. So I'm going to start at her uh, wrists and go to her hair. Okay, I'm choosing to work on, on top of this. Um, you know, I could start from scratch on each one, but I think this gives you a little bit more context, and uh, I don't want to belabor this too much. So I'm going to start wrist to her, her hair, um, and then I'm going to go from her back all the way down to her heel. And then let's go from the angle of her foot to her ball of her foot over here. So that angles up ever so slightly because this foot is higher than that one. And then I'm gonna to do toes. Let's just go to the top of her foot. And this is gonna show that my proportions are all messed up. Um, kneecap area, uh, upper leg. And now I, I could go from the kneecap to the elbow, but I'm going to choose to stick. So now I'm getting a little bit more um, micro with this. And i got to be careful because this is still a containment system. So I'm going to simplify it. Yeah, so that is my figure, which is organic, contained by a fence. Um, and I can see some things are already tremendously off. So um, if I pull a line straight down from the rib cage, straight down running parallel to this photo, her heel is to the right. If, if we look at this photo now over here, um, basically if I pull a line straight down, her heel is slightly to the right. Um, so that's something that would need to be tweaked. Okay, so that would be uh, helping me with my proportions already with this figure drawing. And again, you know, you're, you might be asking yourself the question at home, I don't want to draw that way. You know, look at all those lines that he has down on the page. That looks gross. I mean, um, how is this going to help me with my figure drawings? Again, I can't tell you how important this technique is to be able to do it lightly so I can barely see it on your page and to be able to do it quickly. And then you draw in your own style on top of that um, and then you start to press down harder on your pencil. Now I would not do this containment system slash angles on like a short gesture drawing that is like five minutes or less. This is something that I would use when I'm doing a drawing that's going to take me hours and I want to get my proportions in like the first 20 minutes so the next two hours I'm not struggling with my eraser constantly to fix the mistakes that I made in the first 20 minutes. You would not do this technique in a short five minute drawing unless you were purposely trying to go through an exercise of mastering these angles. So. Um, containment system. Now let's do some micro stuff. So 